Hi, I'm Marlene from Good Eatings, and today I'd like to share with you four easy vegan breakfast ideas. And lately, some of my friends have actually been asking me, what do vegans eat for breakfast? And then I just had this epiphany that actually it's quite hard to get out of your routines and find new habits. So I conjured up these four ideas for feeding yourself in the morning the vegan way, and I really hope you'll enjoy them. And let's get started. I want to start with this great on the go breakfast, which is creamy chia pudding. And for it, you'll need chia seeds, some plant yogurt, some plant milk, some vanilla powder, and some rhubarb compote. Or you could use fresh berries or some store bought jam. You'll also need chopped almonds and some fresh mint. To start, we'll mix all the chia pudding ingredients together. So that's the chia seeds the plant yogurt, the plant milk, and the vanilla powder. So I'm starting here by mixing the vanilla powder and the chia seeds together, then adding the yogurt and the milk and mixing that well together as well. And then I like to put this in the fridge overnight, but you could also just do it in the morning whilst you have a shower or something. It'll take about 30 minutes at least to gel together. So adding the last ingredient there and then just mixing it together. And remember, you'll find all the measurements for these recipes on the blog and I'll link to that in the description box. So once you pick it out of the fridge, I just like to top it off with the rhubarb compote. Again, the measurements will be on my blog for how to make these condiments as well. And then I sprinkle it with some chopped nuts here. I have chopped almonds. And I like to add something green to my breakfast. I think it looks nice and it tastes good. So here I'm using mint, which I think really complements the flavors of the rhubarb. If you wanted to make this a handy on the go breakfast, you could simply put all the chia pudding ingredients into a jar and shake it up and put that in the fridge. And then in the morning, you just top it off in that jar and take it with you. Next up is the simple yogurt muesli parfait with raspberry chia jam. And for it, you'll need some plant yogurt. You'll need some muesli. I'm using a homemade toasted muesli. And also some chia jam or some store-bought jam or fresh fruit. I'll start off by adding the chia jam at the bottom of a little glass. On top of that, I'll layer some of my toasted muesli. And again, you'll find all the measurements and the recipes for all these condiments on my blog. And then on top of that, I will pour on my yogurt. Here I'm using All Pro yogurt, but actually some of my favorite brands are Provomel and Soyod because I like getting an unsweetened version of the yogurts. And then I'll add some more chia jam on top to make it look nice. And in this chia jam, I also have some orange juice, which makes a really nice flavor. And then I'll add also some more muesli on top. And then that's done. So if you come prepared for this breakfast, it really just takes one minute. And there you have it. Now comes a hidden greens and berry smoothie bowl. And for this, you'll need some frozen mixed berries, a banana, some frozen courgette chunks, some peanut butter, some spinach leaves, some plant milk, and some water. I'll start by adding the liquid to the mixer. And here I'm just using a normal standing mixer. And then I'll add in the frozen chunks of courgette and the frozen berries. I find I don't need any ice when I use frozen fruit and veg. And then I'll break up the banana into the mix and also add in the peanut butter. And finally, a big handful of spinach, but you could use any greens you like here. Maybe some chard or kale. Then I just mix it all up. And sometimes I have to just shake my mixer, but if you have a really powerful blender, you should be fine. And I pour it into my bowl. And here I'm gonna to top it with some more of that muesli I used in the last recipe. It's 
become one of my favorite. It has oats, coconut, raisins, some seeds. And then I'm adding some more chia seeds on top. And continuing on with some chopped kiwi fruit, but you could use any fruit you like or skip the fruit, whatever you feel like. I'm also adding some frozen berries. I think fresh berries would be ideal, but they didn't have any good ones at the store. And then I'm adding again some fresh mint. And that's an easy smoothie bowl, or you could just drink it from a glass, whatever you like. To finish off, I have a turmeric oatmeal sweetened with raisins, and for it you'll need some porridge oats, some plant milk, some water, some raisins, or sultanas, and some turmeric powder. I'll top it off with some hemp seeds and some frozen mixed berries. To start I just add the oats to a pot and then I add the water and the milk as well on top. And I'm using soya milk here, I think it makes it really creamy. Then I add in a handful of raisins which I find is a really great natural sweetener. And then I'm adding in some turmeric powder as well, which makes the porridge really yellow and a nice sunny color. But it's also an anti-inflammatory, which I think is really cool. Then I just cook it on the hob until it's nice and creamy and a good consistency. Then I pour it into my bowl. And I top it with some hemp seeds, which is a great source of plant protein. And then I add my frozen berries on top. I like to make it look nice, so bear with me here. And I like to have some milk with my porridge as well. I find it's less dry that way. And that's how easy that warm breakfast is as well. This is really one of my favorites. I eat oatmeal all the time. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you found it helpful. And if you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, never to miss a video again. Take care. Bye.